Dogs are often regarded as the perfect companion for humans, and why not? These lovable creatures are friendly, cheerful, and loyal to the bone. However, due to certain factors mostly beyond their control, some dog breeds lack these qualities and have earned a reputation so contentious that they've been banned in several countries across the globe. From wolf dogs to bloodhounds and Tibetan mastiffs, join us as we reveal the 13 most banned dog breeds in the world. Number 13. American Pit Bull Terriers Boasting more muscles per pound of body weight than any other breed, the American Pit Bull Terriers is a dynamic hound with an imposing stature and contentious temperament. It is sometimes called the Staffordshire Fighting Dog, Bull Baiter Dog, Yankee Terrier, and Rebel Terrier. On the growth chart, this pup shoots up to a height ranging from 18 to 19 inches and can tip the scales anywhere from 30 to 80 pounds. The history of American Pit Bull Terriers dates back to the ancient Greek Molossian fight tournaments where they squared off against animals like the original gladiators. And at the time, robust physique and incredible stamina meant American Pit Bull Terriers were one of the most powerful animal gladiators at the time. However, their controversial history of participating in blood fights doesn't end there. It continued for many more years as these fearless canines made their way into other countries. Across the British territories, for instance, American Pit Bull Terriers were front and center in the bull baiting craze as they wowed audiences in England, Scotland, and Ireland with their tremendous power and fighting skills. These four legged warriors were imported into the United States to spice up the dogfighting arena. This meant that they were constantly being trained to display aggression initially against other dogs. However, as dogfighting tournaments became more lucrative and famous, some irresponsible pit bull owners intensified their training methods in a bid to fire up their dogs and make them more violent towards other animal gladiators and humans. And obviously, their long history of rigorous training explains why American Pit Bull Terriers are naturally strong and very athletic. Some of their most recognizable features include a low center of gravity, well-developed muscles, particularly around the neck and head, and plenty of power and stamina. In addition, they're incredibly courageous, tenacious, fearless, and sometimes stubborn. All of these characteristics, combined with their controversial history and unstable temperament, means American Pit Bull Terriers can be tough customers to handle on their bad days. As a matter of fact, some well-publicized cases of pit bulls displaying excessive aggression towards other dogs and humans have given them a bad reputation, which is why they're banned in many countries across the world. In Europe, the dog breed is outrightly banned in Belarus, Denmark, France, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Malta, Norway, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, and Ukraine. Similarly, they're outlawed in some Asian countries like Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Singapore. Meanwhile, in South America and North America, it is banned in Ecuador, Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. But that's not to say they're unwanted everywhere. A few countries actually allow dog lovers to own pit bulls, but ownership is heavily restricted. These countries include the Bermuda Islands, Germany, Puerto Rico, Russia, Turkey, and the United States. In Canada, it is illegal to own an American Pit Bull Terrier within the Ontario province. However, people in other regions of the country can house them as pets, provided they don't flout the restrictions. Despite their fierce reputation, Pit Bulls can be very calm, gentle, and loyal to the people they love. It all depends on the type of training they're subjected to and, of course, their temperament at that particular time. Number 12. Presa Canario. This is the Perro de Presa Canario, an exciting dog breed with a mixed bag of traits and character. Nicknamed the Canary Mastiff, thanks to its origin, which stems from the Canary Islands, Presa Canarios were initially groomed to protect livestock. Their incredible strength, agility, and protective instincts made them the ideal farm companions. These canines are a curious blend, loyal, composed, and very friendly around familiar faces. But don't be fooled by their calm demeanor, as they pack a deep bark impressive agility, and a confident, imposing look. Furthermore, they seem to have a short fuse, which makes them fierce, especially when they find themselves in a position where they have to defend themselves or their territory. The combination of these attributes made them good companions and exceptional guard dogs in the early period of their existence. However, everything changed in the 15th century after the Spaniards conquered the Seven Canary Islands. During the war, most of the herds were slaughtered, and once the conquest was complete, the Presa Canarios became idle. Seeing this new development, some dogfighting enthusiasts saw this as an avenue to repurpose the started to pair them up against other dogs at local blood sports tournaments. In no time, Presa Canarios adapted to their new role and quickly became one of the most desirable dog breeds for people who engage in dogfighting. As you can imagine, the imposing physique, sharp agility, and incredible stamina of Presa Canarios 
were quite useful in these fight tournaments. On average, a full-grown male Presa Canario can grow to a height of between 22 to 27 inches and weigh anywhere from 80 to 130 pounds. Female Presa Canarios, on the other hand, can be as tall as anywhere between 22 and 25 inches while weighing between 60 and 100 pounds. In addition, this imposing physical appearance is emphasized by their large heads and menacing look. Interestingly, Presa Canarios do not bark excessively. When required, they can growl viciously and give off a stern look to express their dissatisfaction with something. But more often than not, they'll attack without warning when they sense danger. With a bite force of over 500 PSI, Presa Canarios are regarded as one of the top 10 most powerful canine bitters in the world. Unlike pit bulls, the history of Presa Canarios is not too controversial. Their days as fight dogs ended between the mid-1940 SS and early 1950s when fighting was outlawed in the Canary Islands, and they eventually made a triumphant return in the 1970s as loyal working dogs. But nonetheless, a comprehensive report showed that Presa Canarios were involved in the fourth highest number of violent dog incidents that occurred between 1982 and 2014. Only the Pitbull, Rottweiler, and German Shepherd were involved in more violent incidents within this period. For context, Presa Canarios were involved in 111 attacks that led to bodily harm, 18 deaths, and 63 maiming injuries that resulted in permanent disfigurement. This perhaps explains why they're outrightly banned in Australia and New Zealand and some areas in the United States. Ownership of this breed is restricted in countries like Malaysia, Singapore, Romania, and Ukraine. Number 11. Neapolitan Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff, with its huge and abundantly wrinkled body, makes for a startling and intimidating sight at any time of the day. These colossal patrollers tend to leave a mark as they move around with heavy drooling and evident footsteps. It is, however, no surprise that the history of Neapolitan Mastiffs dates back to as far back as 700 BC, when Alexander the Great reportedly crossed his giant war dogs with short-haired Indian dogs to birth a dog breed called Molossus. Alexander took these new creatures to war and experienced huge success. Within a short while, the Romans took notice of the sheer power and might and began to deploy them for combat and hunting activities. Eventually, they crossed these hounds with other large breeds to develop a new breed with saggy skin and smooth coat called Mastino. But in a bid to create a more human-friendly and massive powerful dog than the Mastino, so they conducted another selective breeding that produced the Neapolitan Mastiff. On average, male Neapolitan Mastiffs can weigh between 150 to 200 pounds and stand at a staggering height of between 26 to 31 inches. Female Neapolitan Mastiffs, on the other hand, can reach heights of between 24 to 29 inches tall and weigh 120 to 175 pounds. However, some members of the clan can be smaller or larger, depending on certain conditions. Generally, Neapolitan Mastiffs have strong protective instincts and serious demeanor. Furthermore, they're kind, loyal and reserved, often posing as gentle giants. Understandably, babies and young children may find Neapolitan Mastiffs scary due to their huge size. However, these mellow creatures will provide healthy company for older children, but when need be, they can be incredibly mobile and aggressive. Neapolitan Mastiffs possess excessive power in their teeth with a bite force of about 556 PSI, which makes them one of the strongest and most dangerous dog breeds. Owning these gigantic creatures is illegal in Singapore, and any dog lover who wishes to breed Neapolitan Mastiffs in Romania must first carry out proper psychological evaluation on them. Number 10. Fila Brasileiro. Characterized by its unusual appearance, distinctive movements, and thick, loose skin, the Fila Brasileiro is a powerful hound created from crossbreeding between the English Mastiff, the Bloodhound, and the old aggressive Bulldogs from the 15th century. While the origin of Fila Brasileiro is not entirely clear, the most reliable sources seem to believe that it originated from Brazil, perhaps due to its name. Nicknamed the Brazilian Mastiff, this hound is a physical monster with heights ranging from anywhere between 25 to 30 inches in females and 23 to 27 inches in males. In terms of weight, a full-grown female Fila Braselo can weigh as much as 90 to 110 pounds, while male Fila Brasileiros can become as heavy as anywhere between 110 to 180 pounds. That's about the same weight as a kangaroo or half as heavy as a panda bear. This this imposing shape of the Fila Brasileiro is complemented and emphasized by its unusual, powerful rectangular bone structure along its back and overall compact physique. Fila Brasileiros possess powerful jaws and elastic feline-like strides, 
that allow them to cover a large expanse of area quickly and sneak in on their prey without much stress. Essentially, in the early periods of their existence, these gigantic hounds were largely deployed as guard dogs that took care of farm animals and hunted down wild animals like jaguars, and they did exceptionally well to hold down any intruding wild animals until the farmers arrived. This instinctive tracking and hunting ability is often seen in young members of the clan when they play. Naturally, Fila Brasileiro is courageous, confident, and very determined, which makes them come off as stern personalities sometimes, but they're incredibly kind, gentle, and docile when dealing with adult members of their human families and even children. But of course, all of these qualities are developed over time with the right type of training. However, they're also known to be hostile to strangers and in situations where they feel unsafe. In addition to that, they have such a contentious temperament and a high prey drive that makes them dangerous to cats and small dogs. And with a bite force of 238 PSI, the Fisa Brasileiro can also be dangerous to predators and human oppositions, which is why any major kennel club in North America doesn't recognize the famous livestock guardian. It is banned in several countries, including the UK, Denmark, Norway, Malta, Cyprus, and many regions in the United States, including Wisconsin, Washington, Oregon, Kansas, and Colorado. Number 9. Wolf Dog In simple terms, a wolf dog is a crossbreed between a domesticated dog and a wolf. But critically, for a dog to be regarded as a wolf dog, it must have at least 20% wolf heritage and not more than 98% wolf genes. But generally, wolf dogs are classified and described based on content and not by percentages or fractions. For instance, low-content wolf dogs are breeds that have more traits of a dog than wolf. A mid-content wolf dog is a breed that has equal traits of a dog and a wolf. Meanwhile, High-content wolf dogs are breeds that are significantly more wolf than dog. As far as we know, there are no known restrictions between which breeds of dogs can be used to mate wolves to produce a wolf dog. However, hounds like German Shepherd Dog, Siberian Husky, and Malamute are often used. As expected, wolf dogs tend to possess the traits of their parents, which means that they can be extremely mild, gentle, and loyal. But at the same, they can also be headstrong, aggressive, rebellious, and downright violent in certain situations. In other words, they have a controversial reputation that stems from how people view their wild genetics and some unfortunate incidents that have happened in the past. But despite these fears, statistics have continued to show that wolf dogs are not as dangerous as most people seem to think. Many advocates describe wolf dogs as loyal companions. However, some pessimists insist that they're dangerous breeds. On average, wolf dogs can weigh anywhere between 70 and 100 pounds. However, some breeds are excessively large and can weigh up to 120 pounds. In terms of height, they can grow as tall as between 26 to 34 inches. The temperament and behavior of wolf dogs differ based on the wolf content and the type of training they receive. But as you'd imagine, breeds with higher wolf content would naturally exhibit wild characteristics. For instance, they will most likely be strong-willed, excessively confident, and have a high prey drive. In addition, wolf dogs with higher wolf content could have destructive curiosity and frequent urge to escape. In case you didn't know, wolf dogs are skilled escape artists. Reports even suggest that they are renowned excavators and expert jumpers. For perspective, a wolf dog can scale a 9-inch fence without breaking a sweat. Wolf dogs fit the bill of a fearsome predator as they boast a scary bite force of up to 406 psi, so it's perhaps understandable that they're sometimes misunderstood and classified as wild animals. The type of food they eat is also one of the factors that make people view them as dangerous animals. Typically, most wolf dogs tend to survive on raw meat, even when they've been raised as domestic domestic animals. Currently, wolf dogs are banned or restricted in most European countries. The law is a bit relaxed in America, but they're outlawed in 12 states, including Georgia, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Wyoming, New York, Rhode Island, Columbia, Illinois, Maryland, and Michigan. And even in states where it is legal to own them, owners are heavily restricted by local laws and strict conditions that may include getting a dangerous animal permit, which is literally the same license that's required to breed a lion. Other conditions include mandatory registration registration and vaccinations, specific confinement rules, and veterinary certificates. Number 8. Band Dog Also known as the Band Dog or American Band Dog Mastiff, this heavyweight hound is believed to have been around since the era of Middle England in the 14th century. The term Band Dog can actually be traced back to medieval times when dogs were chained during the day and unleashed at night to fend off wild animals like boar and protect the properties of their owners. However, legends say that the modern-day band dog was created sometime in the 1960s by a vet known as John Swinford. In his mind, John imagined what a perfect guard dog would look like.
look like. He imagined the sheer power and instinctive ability that such a dog would possess, and he was optimistic that a crossbreed between a bulldog and an English Mastiff would give him exactly what he wanted. According to legends, the very first breed of this hound was named the Swinford's Bandog. But over time, the breed has been developed even further, and the name Bandog now encompasses different breeds. So nowadays, any crossbreed between a bulldog and a Mastiff is regarded as Bandog. Bandogs are incredibly strong, muscular, and powerful. They're relatively quiet quiet, docile, and obedient. When they're in familiar territory and around people they love, band dogs are lovable creatures. They respond well to orders and exudes unrivaled confidence and top-level loyalty. When required, they can put up nice and cute faces to try and earn a tasty snack from their owner. However, they're also devious and can sometimes disobey orders to see if they'll get away with it. In addition, they're also prone to anxiety, aggression, destructive instincts, and other disturbing behaviors. Some of these characteristics, particularly their aggressiveness, can prove to be a useful weapon when they're hunting wild animals and protecting their loved ones, but they're quite temperamental so it's imperative for owners to instill discipline in them from a young age. Band dogs are generally big, muscular, and robust. Male breeds would often grow as tall as between 24 to 29 inches, while female breeds are slightly smaller, with a height of between 22 to 27 inches. They are quite heavy as well, with an average weight of between 80 to 140 pounds. At the time of making this video, band dogs are either outlawed or restricted in Turkey, Venezuela, Ukraine, Bermuda Island, Romania, Switzerland, Belarus, India, and the United States. Number 7. Boar Bowl. Originally bred in South Africa, the Boar Bowl is a gigantic and powerful hound designated to protect farm animals from wild predators. Their physical attributes include large, strong-boned, and robust muscles, with flat square heads and broad muzzles. In addition, boar bulls have a well-muscled and broad chest with a short coat and silk skin. The jaw of a boar bull is firm, deep, broad, strong, and slightly tilted to the front region of its mouth. In most cases, a boar bull would have a nicely arranged set of 42 teeth, which combine for a bite force of up to 450 psi. Typically, boar bull can grow as tall as between 22 to 27 inches and weigh up to 200 pounds, which makes them an imposing figure. For its size, the boar bull is incredibly agile and active. On top of that, it has a fierce temper, confidence, and aggression to survive just about anywhere, including in the wild. These attributes mean they can hold their own against dangerous animals like hyenas, baboons, and lions. They rely heavily on their instincts to make important decisions. You'd rarely find them backing down from combat. Burbulls are naturally territorial dogs, so you don't want to be caught messing around their territory, especially if they are not familiar with you. Overall, breeding burbulls is quite easy compared to other dogs within their size and weight class. To start with, they have very minimal grooming needs, and they are very intelligent, playful, and friendly towards humans, especially children. But of course, their reputation often precedes them, and most people tend to see them as a dangerous dog breed. Today, these sprawling guardians are officially banned in France, Malaysia, Qatar, Switzerland, Mauritius, and Bermuda. Countries like Singapore, Denmark, Romania, Tunisia, Faroe Islands, Turks, and Caicos have also placed an embargo on their importation. Number 6. Japanese Tosa. The Japanese Tosa is one of the dogs that is haunted by the breed-specific legislation, BSL, a set of laws that regulate or ban the ownership of certain dog breeds based on their antecedent to engage in violent acts that are deemed dangerous to humans. But unlike some most dog breeds on the dangerous dog list, the Japanese Tosa isn't exactly a troublesome dog breed. In fact, some experts believe that the loyal guard dog is actually a victim of its history, and it doesn't deserve to be on this list. Having become deeply immersed in dog fighting and other forms of blood sports, some curious indigenous people on the island of Shikoku began crossing their medium-sized dogs with different breeds like Mastiffs, St. Bernards, Great Danes, and Bull Terriers with the aim of developing a new dog breed that would mirror the physical attributes of a sumo wrestler. And the Japanese Tosa gave them exactly what they had hoped for as it put up impressive performances in different dogfighting tournaments across the country. Nowadays, the Tosa is renowned as an intelligent dog with protective instincts and unwavering loyalty. Tosas have quite a long list of nicknames. This includes Tosa Ken, Tosa Dog, Tosa Token, Tosa Inu, or Japanese Mastiff. These agile hounds have a lifespan of between 10 to 12 years. They are relatively large and heavy with height of between 25 to 28 inches and weight of between 130 to 200 pounds. Tosas are low-maintenance dogs, but they require attention, proper training, and sufficient exercise. When treated well and trained properly, the Japanese Tosa is quiet, gentle, docile, composed, and more importantly, obedient. 
but they're also capable of being hostile and aggressive in certain situations. At the moment, the Japanese TOSA is banned in the UK, Australia, Denmark, Norway, Germany, Ireland, and New Zealand. Number 5. Dogo Argentino This is the Dogo Argentino, an incredibly loyal and independent dog with plenty of power, cunningness, and a strong sense of duty to protect its own. This interesting breed was created when two physicians in Argentina, Antonio and Agustin Norres Martinez, crossed the Viejo Perro de Pelea Cordobes with different dog breeds, including the Pointer, the Great Dane, the Mastiff, the Bull Terrier, Bulldog, and the Boxer. Interestingly, these physician brothers had a specific reason for crossing the pit, fighting Viejo Perro de Pelea Cordobes with each of these breeds. For instance, the crossbreeding with the Pointer was supposed to improve the smelling ability of the dog. The Great Dane was for increased height. The Bulk Terrier was for more white coating. The mating, with the Boxer, is meant to improve agility, while the Bulldog and Mastiff were supposed to provide calmer temperament and increased jaw strength. At the end of the day, all of these combined are what the Dogo Argentino is made of. As soon as the creatures were of age, one of the brothers, Antonio Norres Martinez, began to pit them against other dogs and animals in blood sports, and on one occasion, the Dogo won an interesting combat against a boar and a puma. This made it the subject of an article in the National magazine, and the rest, like they say, is history. On average, a Dogo Argentino breed could become as tall as anywhere between 24 to 26.5 inches. In terms of weight, a typical Dogo can weigh between 80 to 100 pounds, and their lifespan ranges from around 9 years to 15 years. Dogo Argentinos are generally fun-loving animals. They are courageous, loyal, docile, and confident even in the face of trouble. However, they also have a tendency to be territorial and aggressive. These traits come in handy when they're deployed for work with the police, military, or emergency rescue teams. However, it has also earned them a negative reputation in the minds of many people. Dogo Argentinos are outlawed in countries like Iceland, Denmark, Australia, the Cayman Islands, Fiji, Ukraine, and Singapore. It is possible to own them in the United Kingdom, but there are quite a number of restrictions and conditions you must meet. Number 4. Tibetan Mastiff Revered for their striking lion-like facial appearance and double-layer hair coat, Tibetan Mastiffs are a powerful dog breed. Some people call them the supreme ancient guard dogs and rightfully so. These mellow giants originated from the Tibet region in East Asia, around 1100 BCE. Matured Tibetan Mastiffs can stand at 26 inches at the shoulders and weigh between 70 to 160 pounds, meaning they will most likely be the center of attraction every time you take them out for a walk. Naturally, Tibetan Mastiffs are synonymous with adjectives like powerful, muscular, massive, dangerous, and fierce. And to be honest, they look the path, especially if you cast your gaze on their broad head and muscular physique. But beyond these characteristics, Tibetan Mastiffs have other features that will make you fall in love with them. They possess expressive brown eyes, fluffy coats, beautiful curly tails, and overall a charming personality. Tibetan Mastiffs are super active for their size. They work hard and will go to extra lengths to satisfy their owners. With the right training program, they can be gentle, kind, cooperative, and calm. More often than not, they feed off the energy of their owners because they're incredibly sensitive to human moods. Excessive shouting, arguing, and other violent activities can get them up upset. No doubt they're intelligent and competent, but they can also be strong-willed, stubborn, temperamental, and downright aggressive when they're challenged. Number 3. Bloodhound. Also known as the Sleuth Hound or the St. Hubert Hound, the Bloodhound is renowned for its unprecedented scenting abilities, which makes it a very useful asset for search and rescue missions. Officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1885, Bloodhounds have approximately 320 million scent receptors in their noses that allow them to pick up smell from several miles away. For perspective, that's 53 times more scent receptors than humans have, and evidence gathered by Bloodhounds is so reliable that they're even admissible in court. Bloodhounds are a large breed with heights ranging from between 23 to 27 inches for men males and 21 to 25 inches for females. Furthermore, these canines have a lifespan of around 10 to 12 years. The average weight of Bloodhound ranges from 80 to 110 pounds for males and 70 to 90 pounds for females. Generally, Bloodhounds have a strong, robust, and muscular physique. In addition, they have short hair, long ears, wrinkled face, and loose skin that falls into folds. They possess a lot of energy and can be relentless during hunting and search missions. Thanks to their reputation as pack dogs, Bloodhounds have a friendly disposition 
disposition, so they are easygoing breeds and get along well with humans and other dogs. They're caring, sensitive, and possess a high level of endurance, and they can be erratic sometimes. Their temperament is generally influenced by different factors, which include genetics, training, and their level of socialization. And while they cannot be classified as aggressive breeds, bloodhounds can be very territorial and aggressive in certain situations. So without proper training and monitoring, they can have very violent episodes where they'll destroy things and maybe attack humans. And with a bite force of between 200 and 400 PSI, bloodhounds are one of the few dogs in the world that can kill a dog. That's how dangerous they can be. And it tells you exactly why they're banned in China and several other countries in the world. Number two, Czechoslovakian Wolfdog. Touted as a new age breed with a distinguished origin, the Czechoslovakian Wolfdog is a rare breed. These fur-clad globetrotters made their debut as Border Patrol experts back in the 1950s. But since then, they've spread their paws across the different continents of the world, making pit stops in Europe and the United States. The Czechoslovakian Wolfdog is a versatile breed capable of operating in a number of roles and surviving extreme conditions. They're literally the James Bond of the Hound Clan, smoothly transitioning between search and rescue missions, intense dog sports as well, and tracking and surveillance operations. Unlike their wild ancestors who like to travel in groups, Czechoslovakian wolf dogs are self-independent and can put up a one-dog show when required. They're exceptionally brainy and bursting with brawn. They have keen eyes and a super sensitive nose that could rival that of a truffle pig. On top of that, they have an efficient brain that never takes a coffee break which means they're always active and alert every second of the day. Their eyesight is impressive and complemented by their exceptional sense of smell and presence of the mind, which keeps them alert at all times. In addition, they possess excellent stamina and endurance. The overall physique, including the body shape, movement, coat texture, and facial markings of Czechoslovakian wolf dogs is reminiscent of a wolf. Typically, they weigh between 44 and 54 pounds and have a height of about 24 to 26 inches. The life expectancy rate for this rare breed ranges between 12 and 16 years. They have a robust set of 42 scissors-shaped and plier-shaped teeth. And their movement? It's super sleek. They move like they've got springs in their paws, and they're blessed with sturdy legs that would give any amateur bodybuilder a run for their money. These hounds have charisma oozing out of their fluffy tails. They're loyal to the bone, and their happiness is infectious. But be warned though, there's a dash of restlessness, a pinch of rebelliousness, and sometimes exudes a don't mess with me attitude. So, they can be very tricky customers on their bad days. And speaking of attitude, most people tend to remember the occasional violent episodes of these canines much more than the wild charms they exude. So, like most wolfdog hybrids, Czechoslovakian wolfdogs are considered dangerous and banned in Norway and many other Diawar countries across the world. And even in places where they're not banned, ownership of the breed is subject to certain restrictions. Number one, Sarplaninac. The Sarplaninac is a strong Yugoslavian shepherd dog hailing from the Sar Mountain in the Balkans, boasts a powerful physique with sturdy bones, deep dark eyes, a large head, V-shaped ears, and an elongated body covered with double coats. These features ensure the Sarplaninac breed is well equipped to brave the treacherous climate of the mountains. On average, male Sarplaninacs can reach heights of up to 24 inches and weigh between 66 and 99 pounds. Female breeds are a bit shorter and typically weigh about 11 pounds less than their male counterparts. Endowed with a gentle and watchful gaze, Sarplaninacs are known for their docility and quiet demeanor. They're naturally very kind towards humans, especially children. This affectionate behavior stems from their decades of close interaction with humans. Of course, their massive and formidable physique cannot be overlooked, but overall they exude calmness and confidence even when they sense danger. Furthermore, they possess impressive stamina and strength that powers their relentless lifestyle and scare off predators. Sarplaninacs are massive, powerful and fierce, but never aggressive except when they will find themselves in unsafe environments. In situations like this, their natural courageous and predatory instincts automatically come into play as they try to protect themselves. Impressively, Sarplaninacs wield a bite force ranging from 450 to 700 PSI. This makes them a worthy opponent for wild creatures like wolves and bears. Compared to other banned dogs, most countries approve of Sarplaninacs. However, the breed is outlawed in Denmark and restricted in many other regions across the world. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you've enjoyed it, click on any of the cards on the screen to watch more exciting videos like this one.